looks really cute inside. If you shake it up and then all the glitter swims around inside of it, you need little teeny tiny trees like this. You're gonna need some little, whoops, they're super small. It's baker's twine, it's good. And then you need some kind of chain to hang your snow globe from. We're gonna need E6000. You're probably wondering why it's in a mason jar. This is how I keep it from getting all ruined, dried up, and just useless. The very first thing we're gonna do is take our little tiny tree and then we're gonna glue it inside so that none of the glue smears on the side of the jar because if it gets smeared, then you gotta start all over. To order the supplies used in this project, click the link down below. I also made a paperweight with a bigger jar and added a tiny deer on the inside. Right here is what makes the glitter float around. It's glycerin. You can get it in the cupcake section at the craft store. It makes the water all thick. Use distilled water and about six or seven drops of glycerin. Add a couple pinches of glitter and put on the lid. If you make these and give them to your friends for Christmas, they're going to think you're like the super crafty creative genius of all time. Push an eye pin through the cork to hang your necklace from. Use more glue to seal your lid down and add some baker's twine to the top. Thread a jump ring through the eye pin to attach your necklace to the snow globe. I repeated the same process for the paperweight, adding some CC Caldwell paint to the lid in Santa Fe turquoise. Apply Aileen's Tacky Glue with the paintbrush and wrap your baker's twine around the lid. That's it! We're done! The snow globe necklace! And it's mesmerizing! Leave me a comment, let me know what you would make into a snow globe. Or show me what you did make. Or leave me a video response. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY videos and visit debbiesdesigndiary.com for details on this project. Thanks for watching!